Hi guys, this is me again, Sir AJ from San Mateo Rizal. Now, for this episode, I will teach you or I will discuss about the equipments of lawn tennis. Check this out. Okay, now first we have the rackets. The rackets can be made of many alloys or wood. There are no restrictions on the size or materials needed used in making a racket. It is an oval head and a gradually widening throat that connects the narrow handle with the head of the racket. The head of the racket is tightly woven with strings which are made of various materials like nylon, gut, or synthetic gut. The handles are covered with leather or nylon for a better grip. Okay, next one is the tennis ball. As per the ITF or the International Tennis Federation rules, balls are yellow colored spherical balls with a diameter between 2.5 and 21 to 16 ounce. Pressurized rubber is used to make to make spherical half shells. They are then joined with compressed air between them. The spherical balls are covered with bright yellow color felt. Kids age 10 and under play with different colored balls. They move slower and they bounce lower. Now let's talk about the net post or the net. So the net is a rectangular and used to separate the two sides of a tennis court. The net should cover the space between the two net posts. The net is woven in such a way that it does not allow the tennis ball to pass through. It is usually tied in about 3 feet above the ground at the center. For the next part, we have the wristbands. So these are worn, worn around the wrist to prevent sweat from wetting the player's palm or the racket. A wet grip might not be strong. So another gear is the headbands. Headbands are used to absorb sweat. They also tie the player's hair away from their face. Any tight cap made of absorbent material can also be used instead of a headband. So see here that Roger Federer is using a headband. Now for the lower part of our body, we have tennis shoes. Just running shoes don't provide enough lateral support to players. Tennis shoes are designed to give players better stability and prevent them from sliding while moving sideways. Shoes shouldn't damage the court when players move briskly across the course. So here we have an example of tennis shoes. These are the brand of Nike and Asics. Now we move on to the dress or the attire of the players. Now men wear t-shirts or shirts made of materials like polyester that does not absorb sweat and keeps the player cool. They wear shorts that do not cover their knees. So the girls, or for the women, wear dress to keep them comfortable in playing tennis. Again guys, thank you for watching my instructional video about the equipments of lawn tennis. For the next episode, I will teach you the basic skills in tennis. We have the forehand, the backhand, the volley, and the serve. So see you guys on our next episode. Thank you again.